So we're in the workshop this afternoon. We've got Rowan here. We've had a question about your midi fuse holders that you always use within your builds, Rowan. Um, mm -hmm. Why do you use your midi fuse holders, those modular ones there? Uh, there's a few, years, a few reasons we like them. Uh, firstly is space saving. Because they're modular and they lock together, they, that you can get a, a lot more power into a small area, if you know what I mean. Uh, the other thing is you can have common input. So if you use the input module um, or the bus bar, um, I can have one input coming in and then it's delivering power to all of those outputs. Plus on the same run, I can have one that's not through the bus bar and can have a separate input going out. So potentially you could have a house battery, um, start battery break up, or in this case, we've got power coming into a DC-DC and then the power goes out through the bus bar. Um, the other thing I like about them is that they're red. So they're a clear indication on your board that that's live power. Um, and that's, you know, really good when, you, when you're trying to decipher issues and look for problems. Um, and it actually looks good, gives a bit of extra colour to the whole build. The, the rubber tops on them are really durable. Um, we rarely get a problem with those. The only problem we've had is a little break down here and that's if you're a bit rough with them. But otherwise they're, they're a brilliant thing, they lock in. And another little trick that a lot of people don't realise is there's two steps to the post on these. And the, so when you put a fuse on, it goes over the top of that other post and they're a five mil bolt, so the mini fuse is a little bit loose, but that's okay. The The actual connection needs to be on the flat plate part of it. Not You're not looking for a perfect connection on the bolt, which is why we need to sandwich it together with a nut on top. And because of those two steps there, what you can do is actually put a lug, an eight mil lug, on first before you fuse and you can lock it over that. And when it locks over, like this one here, it does not move. It does not wiggle, even without a bolt on it. So that gives a really good point where there's no resistance, and even if the bolt comes loose a bit, you're not gonna have a problem there with any sparking or heat or anything like that. So that's one of the things I really like about those. We can get a good connection and it's really quite tight. And then you can always add another lug on top as long as it's a five or a six mil hole. So you've got that potential as well, like where we're adding the power for the shunt, goes over the top. All right, so they're a great little thing. The, the input module is a bigger one. It only has one post and it's an eight mil um, bolt on it. Um, yeah, we use that when we go above four. So if I went to five bus bar, I would have an input module as well. And I'd have a six position uh, bus plate over that. And then that way I can put a 70 or a 95 um, lug on top of that and give a nice power run through there with no voltage loss to the battery. All right, that's it.